Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Gamers World. In this video, I'm going to provide you with a hands-on demonstration on how to check and troubleshoot if your Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick has the dreaded yaw control drift problems that have been so numerously heard about on the internet. I've had plenty of people drop comments on my videos about the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 that they are suffering from the drift control problem. Now, I personally never had this issue. I've had this flight stick for a little over a year plus now, have at least 2,000 to 2,500 hours on it of flight time, and it works perfectly amazing. But I'm going to show you some checks and troubleshooting tips to potentially help fix the drift control problem that have been talked about all over the internet. So stay tuned, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and please enable notifications to be alerted about new and exciting content. Stay tuned, and let's do this. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check and see if your Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 has the dreaded drift or yaw drift, as they call it. Now, you may have seen this online. There are other videos about it. A lot of people do have this issue. I personally do not, but I'm going to simulate checking with the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 for the yaw drift. Okay. So the first thing you need to do to check is you need to plug your Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 into a Microsoft Windows PC. Now, why do you need to do that? The Xbox has no calibration tools whatsoever. So you have to do it through a PC. So I've got my Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 sitting on my computer desk. The first thing you need to do if you've never connected a Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 to a computer before is install the Thrustmaster drivers. So here I have the Google Chrome search bar. We're going to go ahead and search for Thrustmaster drivers. It'll take you to the support.thrustmaster.com site. I'm doing this through Google. You can do Bing, ChatGPT if you prefer, whatever you like. We're going to go up here to joysticks. And you're going to find your corresponding joystick. In my case, it is the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1. Now, here is the support page for this piece of hardware. We see the name, a picture of the flight stick, and a product ID number. Now, it says here, use on PC important information. You need to make sure that your drivers install first, and then the firmware version can be checked through the control panel. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. So we want to scroll down here to drivers, and here is the driver package for Windows 10 and 11. In my case, I'm running Windows 11. So we're just going to go ahead here and download the executable. And if you're using Google Chrome, the download shows up in the bottom. You can just go ahead and click open. Now we're going to get this pop up here that says we want to allow this app to make changes. You may not see this in my video because of the way Windows 11 works, but if you don't, it's just a prompt for user account control to install the application and give it permissions. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes. And as you can see, it is now installing. We're going to continue to click next, accept the terms, Install it to the normal location. If you use a different drive, you would change your drive letter. In my case, the C drive is fine. And we're going to go ahead and just let it run through the install. It's going to install the drivers. And we have successfully installed TM Flight Series drivers. So let's go ahead and hit finish. Now, the quickest way to pull up this control panel is to just do a Windows R, which will bring up the run, and type joy.cpl. Now, as you can see, I do not see any controllers here. So the next thing to do is to 
plug our flight stick into the computer, which I'm gonna go ahead and do now. As you can see, I have plugged it in and the flight stick is now showing with the status of okay. So what are a couple things you can do here? We can go to properties and open up the Thrustmaster flight control panel. Now, if your Thrustmaster flight stick is not showing a firmware version of 1.17, go ahead and check for update. In my case, there are no updates because I have the latest firmware. So as you can see, we can test a couple of things. As you can see, when I move it to the right, move it to the left, I get inputs forward, backwards, the throttle, you can see the Z-axis adjusting. Go ahead here and you can actually turn it on and it'll still register inputs no matter what. In my case, I just turn it on to get the connection here. So again, forward, backwards, the twist, the twist. As you can see, you get the same thing here when you use these. See throttles down to zero, throttles at 100. Point of view hat switch, forward, backwards, right, and left. And now we can go ahead and check our buttons. So we have button one. I think this is two, three. Oh, this is four here. This one is three. There's three. And then we've got on the right here, that's five, six, seven, nine. 10, and I think this one is 13, 14, 15, 11, and 12. Okay, so we can do that again here to see if we can get it right. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, six, seven, and eight, this is nine, this is 10, and those don't have any corresponding buttons. And then we've got, let's see here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So as you can see, all buttons are working. Now, if I go ahead and put it in five by eight access mode, as you can see, I've got the same exact thing. Okay, so my Th Flightmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick is working, all inputs are perfect. Now, what would you see if you have issues with your flight stick having the dreaded drift or yaw problems? You might see your flight stick looking like this, where it's on the bending towards the Y axis or bending down towards the X axis to the right like this, something, anything like that. You can see the left mini stick handle is changed when I do this now because mine, as you can see, does not have any drift issues. I don't have this issue, but if you did, like I said, you might see it like this with it sitting in the center, not even touching it. I have to simulate obviously because I don't have this issue. So you might see it like that, or you might see it like this, where it's moving and jittering all over the place, or it's going like this, something like that. Anything you see, it might be like this. It could be like this. If you have it really bad, it could be like this. I've seen people complaints where it's just bare minimum, like this, where they slowly drift and it just bothers them. I've seen it like really bad, like way it's way out. I've replaced uh, this, the internal guts before for some people just to fix the issue if it's that bad. Uh, Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 do have a two-year support warranty from date of purchase. So if it does break, you can always contact Thrustmaster, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But like I said, I mean, I don't have this issue. So as you can see, mine is perfectly set. There are a couple of ways that you can try to fix this without actually having to take the flight stick apart. So let's switch views here and I will show you those options and we can talk a little more about what you can do to fix this issue. 
Okay, so I've gone ahead here and changed angles for a better view of the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1. So as you can see, I've got the device still connected to my computer, as you can see by the lights are on. And the throttle is all the way down, and the flight stick is perfectly centered. Now, there are a couple things that you can do without taking apart the actual flight stick to try and fix the dreaded drift yaw control issue. One of the things that you can do is you can take your hand on the flight stick, put it to the top left to where you feel it engage in that spot where it really doesn't want to move without force, push it there, hold it, and let it go. Same thing to the top. Do it, let it go. Top right till you feel it engage in that gate, and then let it go. To the right, let it go. The bottom left, let it go. The bottom, let it go. The bottom left, you can feel it engage in that gate. Let it go. To the right, or sorry, to the left, let it go. And then to the top left again, and let it go. Now, there's some other things you can do. You can rotate this back and forth a lot to see if it frees up anything. There's gunk, grime, food stuck in there. And you can do the same thing when pushing it to the different positions. So it starts at the top left gate, twist it while it's in that position, let it go. To the top, twist it in that position, let it go. Top right, twist it in this position, let it go. To the right, twist it in that position, let it go. Bottom right, twist it in that position, let it go. Bottom, twist it in that position, let it go. Bottom left, twist it in that position, let it go. Left, twist it in that position, let it go. Top left, again, twist it in that position, let it go. Now, if you do this and you still have those issues, there are a couple of options. One, you can take apart this flight stick. It actually separates in half here. It's kind of hard to see, but there are two screws right here and right here. If you take these screws out, the actual flight stick will separate in half. I'm not going to go ahead and do that on this video because, like I said, my flight stick has almost 3,000 hours of flight time on it and is working perfectly fine. But you can do that. And inside, there is a round plastic ring with some different switches and sensors and electronics connected to it that you can replace. The other option, if you're not technically savvy enough or worried about taking this apart is to contact Thrustmaster. They will assist you with procuring either the replacement parts, sending it in for repair or a full-blown replacement. If you're going to do that, make sure you've kept your receipt from when you purchased. I think the warranty is like two years on the hardware. So hopefully this helps some people who are having this yaw drift control issue I personally do not have this issue, and I have never had this issue. Um, I love this flight stick. It's one of my favorite ones I've ever bought, in, and I've got to have at least 2,500 to 3,000 hours on it at this point. If anybody has any questions on this video, or there's anything you would like to see, as always, please drop a comment on this video, and I will do my best to answer your questions, provide you feedback, or technical guidance if needed. Please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you enable notifications. I'm going to have new and exciting content coming soon. Thanks a lot, everybody, and I will see you around.